Hey, it's um, it's Friday. Actually, it's Saturday. It's Friday, 2 a.m. in the night. Um, still working. Um, I was preparing some sales because it's you know it's it's that weekend. It's it's the Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and we are involved in two different promotions of our products. And there was a good opportunity to look at our um, history, how we started selling programming books as Arkansi, how I was involved as the author what are our worries in the past and how we can confront our worries from the past with the current results and uh, whether we can be happy or not. But before I go into the details about the books, let me uh, talk about another topic which we discussed today at Arkansas, uh, which is a little bit about gadgets and especially Apple gadgets or Apple related gadgets, but not, not only this. Uh, first of all, let me share with you that I bought those Beats headphones and I'm really happy with them so that's one of the gadgets which is was really costly but super good um, really good sound quality so that's good for me uh, another gadget I was using quite a lot recently was the AirPods uh, I love them for how comfortable they are good for running but the, one of the problems with them is that they look totally ugly and I don't like wearing them wearing them when I'm somewhere uh, with other people. Uh, another gadget which uh, I can show, it's the Apple Watch. I'm wearing this, but this is probably one of those gadgets which I'm not super happy with. Um, I don't know, there's something about it. It, I, it just doesn't bring that much value. So I like it because it has those notifications. So I just use it mostly for the notifications part. But apart from that, I could really live uh, I could with it without it. Mm, some other minor things. Uh, this Apple keyboard, I'm using it for 10 years now. So good quality. Apple mouse, I think nine years or eight years. So also good quality Apple product. Uh, and recently I bought spectacles, those glasses for Snapchat, but I will probably record a special episode for that. So um, that's it about uh, the gadgets and we were discussing the gadgets because there was a whole discussion in our company who of us is going to buy the iPhone X uh, I'm using the iPhone 7 right now 7 plus uh, and I think I'm gonna buy uh, iPhone X soon that's the plan all right let's talk about the books uh, or even before the books I have sold I was trying to sell a, um, one of my first product actually which was a video a programming video I don't even remember right now what it was about I think the price was something like, I don't know, $2, $3. I was just too scared to ask for money for this product. And I think one person bought it. Uh, so this wasn't a good beginning and this was definitely something that probably increased our worries whether we should go for uh, selling products or not. Uh, but anyway, we, or actually probably Robert was, I think the main person who took the initiative. We started selling our first book which was called Async Remote and it was about um, the ways we work at RKNC, so remote tips, practices and how we make it async so that people can work at different times. Uh, so the book is called Async Remote and we started selling it um, four years ago in September, so it was 2013 in September. I remember it was September because I was at the chess tournament as I usually am during September and I was surprised that I see some notifications that people pay us money. and. Uh, and this was actually a good start, so that was a good beginning, and that was our first book in in September 2013, so it started four years ago. So this is the landing page for the first book, so the Async Remote one, we even have a testimonial from Greg Young, this, this Greg Young, the famous uh, CQRS inventor. Uh, this is so-called long copy on the landing page, where we explain what's inside and that's that's the book and it keeps selling quite well and fast forward four years now we have um, eight books in our offer we have one video class and a number of services not all of them are listed here uh, i think on the arkansas landing page um, we have a better list in the footer. So in here we have those uh, those books, products, open source stuff. and But here I want to talk more about um, books today. 
So the statistics right now are telling me that um, we already have... So first, okay, we were super worried when we started with programming books and we uh, I think there were a lot of like many emotions and whether we should do it because you know this is one of the things that you do in public and every, every public activity can scare you how do people react whether people will laugh at us whether they will complain whether we have I don't know refunds and people will write really bad stuff about our books um, but really not that much happens from those worries and four years later we are we are now having um, 400 uh, sorry 4301 customer um, who altogether purchased, 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 bought 5,641 books. And yes, we were worrying about refunds, for example, that because we, uh, we guarantee that if you don't like the book, we uh, return you the, all the money without asking any question. And there were 67 such situations. So I think it's a little bit more than 1%. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the numbers overall. Uh, I think those are good numbers. Um, uh, I think we no longer worry about those books that much and we focus on writing those books which are you know, focused on solving a specific problem uh, in ways that we have solved this problem in our projects, in our client projects or other products. Um, so basically we just, we're just sharing um, our knowledge this way and people appreciate that so you know we have the, our mailing list i think the mailing list is, is selling the most of it um but we also promote our stuff on twitter on the blog on facebook um i'm not sure what's the message uh, here maybe there's no message i'm just you know trying to document the status so i think in our case we were worrying about this a lot i think we were overthinking this a lot now, for our four years later, I think it's clear that it was a good decision to, to do this. Um, I'm not only amazed from our perspective that you know we can be proud that we sold so many copies, but also I can I'm proud to think. So I, I'm not. I know not everyone read every of the books that they bought. I know people sometimes buy books and they don't read them. That's okay. That's their choice. But probably some part of the people found those books and the techniques uh, useful. I can believe, probably I have the right to believe that some of them found them useful. Some of them came back for, for the next products, for the next books. So probably in some ways we helped those people. And this is the perspective I like to look at uh, sales from. So it's not about us getting rich, it's about helping people and getting rich as a side effect. Uh, but Really, it's, when we talk about a new book, it's all about how what's the problem we are solving for the people. And that's the main thing. Uh, because if we're sol solving a problem, then it's easy to do the marketing, it's, it's easy to do the sales, and then it's easy to have uh, thousands of customers, I think. It's just, we can't be shy. You can, you can worry, you can overthink, but in the end, if you can, if you can help people, I think that's a good thing to do even though it's something really new for you and something scary as, you know, asking people for money for, for your books. Uh, yeah, all of this was ebooks. Uh, we also have one physical book, but we didn't really start selling it that much. So it's all about ebooks. Uh, I think every programmer can publish an ebook. It's easy with the tooling. And I think it's good if we have a market of many books and people can look at programming problems from different perspectives. So from my perspective, the more books from programmers, the better. Thank you for watching my vlog.